Uh, my name is Rob Eddy. Uh, I've been cooking for about 20 years now. Um, I started in fast food, I've done country clubs, hotels, restaurants, uh, bike company, uh, now a hospital. Um, always looking for new ways to learn, new things to do, new people to work with, stuff like that. Uh, I graduated from culinary school in 2001 um, from the Cooking and Hospitality Institute of Chicago and uh, kind of bounced around a little bit here and there in Wisconsin and luck found me here. My first job was in a restaurant and then my second job was in a restaurant and then I started college and while I was in college I was working in a restaurant and then I went off to a university and I was skipping class to go work at the restaurant and I loved the chef that I worked for and I thought I absolutely love doing this. I'm good at it, you know, I enjoy it, I like the rush of it, I like everything about it, I like watching people, you know, enjoy great food. Uh, it just got better and better, so I thought, well, if I'm going to pay for school, I may as well pay to learn to do this better, and uh, decided to move to Chicago and go to school. When I was a kid, and actually even now, I really wasn't a big breakfast guy. Um, I found myself a lot of times just carrying around a box of cereal and just eating like that, and uh, what I thought I could do today was something that kids might like who maybe aren't so keen on breakfast, um, it's stuff you can eat with your hands. Um, it's pretty simple ingredients, simple to make. Uh, it's all very healthy and uh, anybody could do this and I'll show you how. So today we're gonna make a fruit and donut hole skewer, pancake muffins, and a peanut butter, granola, and fresh fruit wrap. All right, so the first one I'm gonna do is this uh, fruit and donut hole kebab. Uh, it's extremely simple to do. Um, I'm gonna use the ingredients I have here. This is all just berries and granola and things like that that I typically have sitting around. So I'm gonna skewer a strawberry, and I'm gonna throw a donut hole on there, and then we'll do a blackberry. Then I'm gonna put a banana in the middle I took some granola and kind of crushed it up. So I'm gonna take that crushed granola, roll the banana in there, get a little bit of granola on that banana, slide that guy on there. And we'll do another blackberry. Gotta have another donut hole. And we'll finish it with the raspberry. And there you go, that's it. And you could drizzle a little honey on there if you like. Uh, a little powdered sugar wouldn't be bad on there. You can switch up your fruits. You can put a little blueberry in the middle. Um, pretty much anything you wanted to do. And there you go, simple as that. Uh, the next one I'm gonna show you is a, it's a pancake mini muffin. So I'm gonna take a little mini muffin thing here. You could do big ones, you could do small ones. It really doesn't, doesn't matter too much, it's up to you. And then this is just a basic uh, pancake batter. You can use whatever you want. You can even use the box stuff. Um, this I did half wheat flour and um, half regular flour. So you're going to put just enough in there. Go about two thirds of the way up. Spoon them in. Um, if you're using a metal one, you're going to want to spray it. A little nonstick spray. After you get that in there, you can. Once again, pick from any of your ingredients. So we'll try doing a blueberry pancake. We'll do a chocolate chip pancake. And let's throw some strawberries in one. You just kind of stuff them in there. And then you're gonna bake these at 350. They only take about 10 minutes or so. And when you're done, you'll end up with something like this. These are the ones I made earlier. I've got strawberry, I've got raspberry, blueberry, I've got some granola and cinnamon and sugar, uh, chocolate chip, and then when they're done, they pop right out. You can dip them in maple syrup, peanut butter, uh, maybe some yogurt if you like that. Pretty much anything you want. So the next one I'm gonna do is the favorite around here. This is the peanut butter, granola, and fruit wrap. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of peanut butter spread out on the bottom. Spread it right in the middle and kind of across. I'm gonna mix up my fruit. First thing I wanna put in there is the apple. So I gotta squeeze a little bit of orange juice on the apple to keep it from going brown on me. This one is very portable. Throw some banana in there. A little bit of blueberry. 
strawberry. A little strawberry. I'm gonna throw some craisins in there just because I like them. And we're gonna mix all that up. Put it right in the middle of my tortilla. So we got our fruit in there. Let's put it right in the middle so we have room to fold. Do a little bit of granola. I like to put the granola on the top so it doesn't rip the tortilla. And then we'll drizzle it all with a little bit of honey. And then you're gonna roll it up. So what you wanna do is fold up your sides, put your thumbs at the back, just roll it over. Be real gentle with it, don't push too hard. Just roll it over and roll it over until you get to the crease. Slice it right in half, and there you go. Fruit granola peanut butter wrap. So thanks for joining me here at Columbus Community Hospital. Uh, come back in June, and we'll see what I can get cooking.